I will show you the problem related to the water inlet valve used in the front load washer in the video. I will open a water inlet valve and tell you its repair procedure. But before that, first, I am going to tell you the problems associated with it. So when the front load washer does not fill the water or continuously keeps leaking water. When we open the detergent tray and see no water coming into it or it keeps continuously flowing, I will give you its complete solution. To fix the problem, open the water hose pipe attached to the water inlet valve. It can open easily with the hands, but if it had been tightly closed, use a plier to open it. The other end of the pipe hose has a filter installed inside. Check that filter and clean it, and then it is possible the water filling problem could be solved in the first place. Now you can see this filter inside the water inlet threads. Usually, sand gets stuck inside the filter, which is present in the water. This blocks the filter and prevents water from passing further into the washing machine. Now I will remove its filter and show you how it comes out. Use a plier to remove the filter. A piece of plastic is embossed on the filter. It is made to hold the filter and make it out of the water inlet valve. This filter is clean right now, but in your case, it could be dirty. Clean the filter using a brush, and the water problem can be fixed. The next reason is that the coils of the water inlet valves could get bad, or the mechanism inside the water inlet valve could get bad. The other reason is when electricity continuously passes through the water inlet valve, then the PCB board of the washer could get faulty. But I am not discussing the problems of the PCB in this video as I am only telling the problems related to the water inlet valve. Different washers could have different water inlet valves. For example, a water inlet could have two, three, or six valves. In this machine, a single hose water inlet valve is installed. This machine warms the water through its heaters. That's why the company has divided it into three separate sections. Now I will explain how to check the water inlet valve electrically. You should have a multimeter or an electrical tester. You will have to start the machine as I am doing. Select any function on the machine and press the play button. Now I am checking the AC voltages on the water inlet valve. No voltages on the first valve. Nothing on the second coil. The third valve is getting 230 AC volts. This means water will pass through this pipe in the water dispenser tray. The other two valves will be closed and this is how it will work. While testing with the tester, you can only see the phase line. See the light on the tester glowing. This means you can see the phase line on the tester, but you will not understand whether neutral is passing in the valve by checking through the tester. For this purpose, having a multimeter is a must. Now if you want to open these valves, and whenever multi-valves are installed in the washer, then before opening multi-valves always mark the valves. As these two wire connectors have the same blue color and the wrong connector gets installed in any water inlet valve. The water will flow in the wrong section of the washer when not required for the washer. So always mark them while opening them to connect them back to the same valve. If the electricity passes through the inlet water valve, but the water is still not flowing through it. Then these coils could get faulty. I will check it through the multimeter. The multimeter shows 4.40 kilo ohms of resistance reading of the coil. The other coil also has the same value. But if everything is fine, then it is mechanically bad from the inside. Now I will show you how to open it and repair it when it is mechanically bad. The need is to open its coil. Now you can see this plastic embossed upward. The same is on the other side of the water inlet valve. The plastic is embossed here as well but it is fixed inside the metal. It is locked to prevent the coil from rotating. This side of the water level has a gap between the coil and the embossed plastic. Now I will put this flat screw on the downside of the coil and push it by applying force. I will not apply much force to prevent the plastic from breaking. After pushing it upward, I will pull it by using my hands. Now the coil has got out of the water inlet valve. Now I will open the mechanism of the water inlet valves. I will open it using the nose plier, but it's better to have its tool as it sometimes does not open. I have inserted the nose plier in the jaw of the plastic. And I will rotate it. It has opened. 
It has a diaphragm. The diaphragm is made of plastic. It has a piston inside and springs inside. Clean this valve part, but put all three parts in the scale remover. This way, all the scales will be removed. And your washing machine water inlet problem will be fixed. This is for the video. I will see you at the next one. Click on the left or right thumbnail on the screen to watch our next videos. And subscribe. It's free.